Oh my Lanta. That looks good. All right, YouTube, what's going on? Everybody, Chris here again with another video. And as you guys know, I recently bought my 2022 Honda Insight. And as you guys already know too, if you've been watching the channel for a while, I cannot keep a car unmodified. I've messed around with my Lancer. I messed around with my wife's 2020 Blazer. Now that I have a new car to mess around with, that's just what we're gonna do today. So for today, we're gonna do my first modification here on the Honda Insight. So here's how the car sits so far. Nothing has been done. Everything is from factory to include the tent. Well, I guess the dealership did the tent, but everything else is relatively stock with the addition of a little sticker on the back. But today we're gonna go ahead and change that because in the mail, I ordered a duckbill wing or spoiler, whatever you guys wanna call. Give it a little bit more dimension towards the back up here. But keep in mind, this wing is designed for 2018 through 2021 Honda Accords. So let's go ahead and see how it fits. But before we go ahead and throw it up there, here is the wing itself. So it's gonna sit on the car just like so give you a nice little ramp towards the end. I've always been a fan of duck bills. I've been contemplating if I was gonna do that to the Lancer, but we won't do that for now. But so yeah, here it is. It's a gloss black finish. The paint itself looks pretty quality. And this thing is lightweight. But yeah, so here's the underside, unfinished painted. And then here's the glossy black side. So let's go ahead and see what this is gonna look like on the car. gonna sit up on top just like that and voila what do you guys think it has like a little bit of an overhang on each on each end but a lot of wings nowadays have that kind of look to towards them here's from the side from here it looks really good like I said that adds a little extra dimension what do you guys think yay or nay this is just going to go on with some heavy duty 3M tape. It shouldn't go anywhere. But it still kind of matches the body lines of the original trunk. As you can kind of already see. I don't know. I think I like it. Like I said, I'm just going to apply that with 3M tape so we can always remove it in the future. So I've kind of decided I personally like the look of it. If I don't like it, I can always remove it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is prep the surface of the trunk. Prep the surface of the wing. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw it on there with some 3M tape. All right, in order to prep this for the tape, all I got is some soapy water. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down this inner ledge. This is gonna be the lip towards your trunk, so that's where we're gonna wanna go ahead and clean. Get a little rag, and get, off, get off all those contaminants that you possibly can. Okay, once you got all your contaminants off, all your debris, now I'm gonna go ahead and put our double-sided 3M tape on there. I think this is the one I have for outdoor use, so it's water waterproof and all of that. Real quick, here is the layout of the double-sided tape I got. So we're gonna keep this little red backing on there right before we put it on the car, that way nothing gets on our tape. But this is how it's gonna be laid out. And secondary note I wanna tell you guys is I did buy this off of Amazon, so I'll link this down below. If you guys like the look of this and how simple of an install it can be for you, um, it's just one way to make your car stand out from the rest of the little insides out there. I know they're not typically known to be modded, but you know what? Let's go ahead and try to change that, right? So let's go ahead and uh, clean off the trunk and throw it on the car. So same thing, you just wanna clean off this little, this little edge. And you would ideally wanna do this in a garage where nothing's gonna kick up. But we'll be all right since we're just gonna go ahead and throw it right on here. All right. Kind of crazy to think I'm, I'm modding a hybrid. But it's gonna definitely make this car look a little bit better. On top of that, look at the sparkle on this car. The paint job is freaking excellent. Now as tough as this tape is, I can tell you it's gonna protect your paint. It's not gonna really damage your paint. And I've had 3M tape all over this car at some point. And when I went to remove it years later, it didn't really damage the paint. So don't really gotta to worry too much about that. 
All right, I just got it laid down by myself. It looks pretty even. So if you look down here, let's see if the camera can pick it up. But there's actually a little slot. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little slot. All you gotta do is line that up with the Honda emblem and you'll be dead smack in the middle. So, looks pretty good. Now that it's baking in the sun, it's gonna get the adhesive nice and warm. Hopefully it'll fuse a little bit better. But right now, as it stands, it's on there pretty, pretty good. And as you can tell, right down here, it's gonna, doesn't really attach, but there's a lot of wings out there nowadays that look like that. And like I said, that looks like factory almost. Pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely happy with it. <laughs> and here's some fitment for the back side of it for you guys. Doesn't fit all the way flush, but you're really not gonna notice that. Here's towards the side. Get a little closer underneath. Like I said, that looks factory. Pretty happy with it. Just a nice little subtle ramp towards the end of the trunk. But yeah, I don't know. I like the extra little dimension right there at the top. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? Should I keep that on there? I think it really kind of completes the back end of this car. Keep in mind, I know this is a hybrid, it's a little commuter car. I just, I just hate a stock looking car. So, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. One last little side view of it, and then let's get one more from the back again. Well, there you have it officially did our first honda insight modification hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing but um yeah if you guys have any questions comments or concerns in regards to the little install make sure you leave a comment down below and as always i want to say thanks for watching never live your life not and i'll see you guys in the next one peace i just lied just knocked out another little thing for the car as you guys can tell license plate is now a lot darker i just threw on the shaded license plate cover this thing's coming along. Next is probably getting rid of some of that chrome. I hate chrome.